With walls, the level of detail allows us to be able to see the different layers of material associated with a wall. Or it may remove those different layers of material so that we don't see them in that particular view. To understand this a little bit better, let's zoom in here on our first floor plan view. And what we have on the screen is a section symbol going through the wall and a wall with several layers of material going from left to right. Currently, we can't see any of those different layers of materials. To get a better idea what this wall might actually look like without the thick lines coming around it, let's take a look at it by coming up here to the View tab and selecting on View. Move over and click on Thin Lines. And this is going to remove those dark lines showing up here. Now that the dark lines are gone, we can see that there's something right here, and then we can see the rest of the wall. Well, the something that we're looking at right here is a sill, and we'll be able to take a look at that here in just a minute in a 3D view. Now, if I zoom back out so we can see the entire wall, move your mouse down, and select on this white box right next to the scale, and it's called Detail Level Course. Click on that. You'll find that in Revit, medium and fine almost always gives you the same level of detail. There are some subtle differences. Medium will sometimes show a minute less amount of detail. Sometimes fine will give you more rounded edges or more defined edges. But for the most part, medium and fine are the same. And coarse will present just like we're seeing here in the plan view. If you choose fine, zoom in a touch, you'll be able to see each layer of material that make up this wall. Let's take a look at this in a 3D view just for a moment. Come up here, select on a little 3D house. If your wall looks like this, you need to be able to see it from the other side. Just click on this upper edge of the view cube. and It'll spin the wall around and you'll be able to see it from this side. In the plan view, I said there was this little sill that was showing up there. What I was really referring to is this piece right here. It's sort of jutting out away from the wall and we could see that in our plan view. That really wasn't affected by that level of detail. Now close down this 3D view by clicking on the X here in the corner. Select on the section symbol. When it highlights and turns blue, right click on it and select go to view. This will take you to a section view of this particular wall. In this case, we can see that the wall has multiple layers of materials associated with it. And there's that sill piece again that I was talking about earlier. Also, if you move down to the bottom of the screen, right here where the scale is at, click, and then change this to course, you'll notice that those layers of material go away. Now, this level of detail is more than likely going to be appropriate for most building sections, where you don't want to see every layer of material, but you still want to be able to see the thicknesses of the walls, or floors, or roof, or any of those kinds of objects. On the other hand, if you want to do enlarged details, true section views where you're going to be defining each layer of material, come down, change this to a fine level of detail, and you'll then be able to see each layer of material, may it be in walls, or this is appropriate as well in roofs, floors, ceilings, a wide variety of different kinds of Revit objects.